I try and keep as much separation as I can from him to kind of let him do his own thing. But at the same time, I'm always there, you know, making sure that he's not going to do something that's going to get him in trouble and kind of keeping that eye on him that I didn't have <laughs> coming up. So we grew up hearing things about the military being glorified. It was something we always talked about doing. I knew I wanted to do, but I just didn't know when or how. Once I got in and found my way and found my path and found something that was going to give me skills outside of the military that I could carry to the other side with me, I figured aviation was a never expanding field. Originally, I didn't know quite what I wanted to do in the National Guard. I knew I wanted to go guard, but my brother brought me up here to the unit a few times before I met my recruiter, and he was just kind of showing me different things, different aspects of the military. And I hopped up on top of one of the helicopters, and I loved it because I love working my hands on my civilian side. I love tinkering with stuff, getting dirty. And when he showed me the helicopter, I was like, I like it. Went to AIT for it, ended up loving it. Came here, I love my job. I love what I do. I love working on the air force. When he was coming in, he was just very gung-ho. He's always been a diesel mechanic. He's always worked on cars. He's always worked on stuff. Like he's always tinkering, always working with tools, working with his hands. So I was like, why don't you find something that you're gonna enjoy doing, get you something that's gonna carry over. And uh, I didn't think he was gonna listen to me, but he actually did at the last minute. It was actually a surprise call I got when he enlisted. I was like, hey, I'm 15 Tango. Now we have the chance we to bond over way. work and over something outside of our family, outside of fishing and, and just hanging out and doing stuff that guys do. We actually get a chance to work together, overseas together, and, and the environment like we're in, brand new to both of us, neither one of us have ever been outside the country yet. So coming here for the first time, that definitely strengthens your bond together. You know, it's like having a piece of home with you and uh, you get a certain level of comfort out of that. But every once in a while you gotta come by and you gotta, you gotta mess around every <laughs> once in a while. So then you can get off the camera. This is my spotlight. <laughs> you crew chief, you get it all. Yeah, Hollywood. <laughs>